Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes. Welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, the new update with the plebbing, uh, what, what is it? Lang of the Shack cookie? I'm pretty sure that's who the cookie is. Let me just do this thing over here. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, I just had to open that up. Uh, the new update with, uh, that new cookie, the Lawyer Cookie Law cookie, just came out. But another, uh, what am I doing? I suck with this intro. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it in anyway, because who cares? A couple other events just recently came out, which one I really want to focus on is Cookie Debate. What the heck is this about? Oh, what else can I say? It's most likely just about debating with other cookies. Uh, and as it says right down there, it says words like, uh, how sad you'd not appreciate the taste of pineapples. <laughs> oh boy. This, is this going to be, since there's ananas and uh, p pizza cookie, it's going to be about pineapple on pizza? Oh, I cannot wait for this. So I want to check out what this event is about and see how many people I can absolutely trigger in this video. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so there's a cutscene. Hello everyone, I am here at the cookie debate. The air is filled with sweet aroma showing just how many cookies are eagerly waiting for the debates. Throughout the debates, we will have selected profound topics that every cookie must have uh, thought about at least once in their lifetime. Just to mention a few, when escaping the oven, is it better to step out with your left foot or your right foot? Who cares? You're still escaping the oven. Like sheesh. When eating the jellies with chocolate sauce, should you pour the sauce over the jellies or dip the jellies in the chocolate? As the debate results determine results the well, as the debate results determine the rules of the world, I'm sure the participants are taking this very seriously. Denying the truth is unacceptable in the cookie world. The more cookies with such firm beliefs, the longer the cookie debates can go on. For our first round of debate, we will have some remarkable participants. Come on out, on Ananas Dragon Cookie and Pizza Cookie. I'm gonna bust out my plain voice for this one. Pineapple is a perfect fruit on its own and as an ingredient in food. Those foolish cookies who dare disrespect the pizza created to honor myself and my island will come to regret it. Heh. <sighs> I've always wanted to say this, but I, like, how would a dragon know what a pizza tastes like? It's, like, so ridiculous. How dare you disrespect a dragon? Cookies, can you imagine the delight of savoring the soft and sweet fruit topped on a pizza? How would you know with your crispy appearance? What are you talking about? Leek on pizza is much better than pineapples. Food should have a distinct taste and aroma. Such ambiguous flavor like pineapple on pizza is not pleasant at all. Hey, Cookie, you must crave something sweet after all that movement. Imagine how delicious it would be to have pineapple pizza after a match. Yeah, yeah you got that right. <laughs> Next time we play nearby, let's order lots of pineapple pizza together. It makes sense from a medical standpoint. If you must eat pizza, at least include some healthy pineapple. Uh, like, I get that. But if you want to be healthy, should you really be having pizza in the first place? Exactly! The greasier pe the pizza, the more delicious it is. Imagine lying on the couch watching a movie and indulging in a pizza dripping with oil. Settle down now, ev settle down now, everyone. I'll prove how delicious pineapple is through my live stream. I'll ask my viewers. While I do that, you can all watch a video about a cookie who turned into a ghost because they couldn't have pineapple and pizza they wanted. Huh. <laughs> You're like totally gonna get a lot of hate for that. Uh, sweetness shouldn't come. No, it's, uh, uh, sweetness should come from the things like cinnamon pizza, pineapple on pizza. I wish I could use my magic tricks to make them disappear. But if you sprinkle cinnamon on pizza, on it, heck, if you just sprinkle it on pineapple pizza, it becomes even sweeter. Oh, that's intriguing. Don't be swayed by those words, cinnamon cookie. As a magician, you must stay true to taste and pursue. Imagine sprinkling pepper on my sweet outfit. It would be a mess, don't you think? Oh, even the thought of that makes me dizzy. The same goes for pineapple pizza. There's no room for that kind of flavor. That is why that is what harmony is all about. Simple cookies just cannot understand. This is a perfect chance to showcase how dragons have sophisticated palates. No sides are backing down. This is such an impressive debate. Now for the first debate, which side do you agree with? The pineapple pizza debate. To select a team. How sad. Do you not appreciate pineapples? And pineapple pizza delicious and not unacceptable? Alright. I'm about to lose all of my subscribers in one click of a button. <laughs> I hope you support the opinion. Pineapple pizza tastes amazing. Because, you know what? Uh, uh, please sign. Uh, how do I... I think I'll just do a... Uh... Yeah, that's my H. Okay, there we go. Equip your team title and complete the missions. The winning team is always right. Try your best for, uh, even in the final spurt. Okay, the endless debates are over. Cookie debate will now answer everything for you. Ah, oh, great. Here we go. Also, you know what? Why not leave down in the comments below if you prefer pineapple and pizza? Yes or no? It'd be nice to see uh, some interesting comments about this. But anyway, the endless debates are over. Cookie debate will answer everything for you. 
Equip the title given to you when you select a team. Complete various missions and earn more points. The team with more points by the end of the debate wins. Uh, the winning team's opinion becomes the undisputable truth. Okay. Final spurt starts 12 hours before the ending time. Team scores will be hidden and missions that give higher points will appear. Sounds about right. The winning team will receive an upgraded title as a winning reward. Ooh, pineapple pizza E. Ooh. Now what's, what's the title? Finally, cookies have some delicacy. Yes. <laughs> Cookie face, me. Okay, contributing. Okay, th those are the top three. And so far, it seems that pineapple and pizza has the bigger edge. Which, to be fair, I was always the firm believer of this. There's two people in this world. People who think pineapple belongs on pizza and racists. I know what you're thinking. That's a bold state. That's a bold statement to claim. But here's the thing. If you deny that a pe like a pineapple on or like any sort of ingredient should belong on pizza, you have to bear this in mind. You're kind of making pizza not open accessible to every single ingredient. Because to figure out how ingredients work, you have to try the ingredients and people will have dis like distinguished tastes. If pineapple didn't belong on pizza, then why are there so many people out there who still like pineapple on pizza? And you can't give the excuse that they're freaks. It's not that you're saying, oh, what about burnt rubber on pizza? Because that's literally inedible. That's different. People like pineapple and pizza, and there's obviously people who don't like pineapple and pizza, which makes sense. There's people who don't like the combination of fruit and like plumping sauce and all that stuff. But the thing is, I think that it personally works well because I was always a firm believer of as long as it's pizza and it's within an edible form, then it counts as pizza. Because it doesn't matter if you can throw like, you know, pieces of chicken on a pizza. It doesn't matter if you throw like pepperoni. It doesn't matter if you throw pineapple, peppers, plumping cereal, like pickles. It does not matter because fun fact, that is still a pizza and it's all about how you craft it. I'm sorry that I'm ranting over here, but you got to hear my thoughts about the pineapple versus pizza debate. I'm sorry, but... I guess I formally do this, I need to equip the title, which, do I have the title equipped? Which, I'm wondering what the title is if you don't, uh, do it. And I gotta get P points. And I could get, <laughs> I could watch ads for, oh, they're pulling a kingdom. I can watch ads for rewards. So I have to finish the trophy race in the top five places, earn a billion points, collect 2,000 jellies, slide for 30 seconds, uh, jump 100 times. I think these should all be possible. I think I can do that. Oh, whoa. The team for pineapple is starting to fight back. I should probably get started on these missions then, if that's the case. Uh, but I guess this is just for anything, and it says that this lasts for four days. So I guess I could just do some missions just to uh, grind this out. There we go, Pineapple Pizza Lover. I'm pretty sure I have to, yeah, I have a good equip. So I have to make sure that I have this equipped and start running with it. So I don't know exactly what I'll do. I guess I could just rant on a little bit more about the flipping uh, pizza debate. But whatever the case is, you know, that's just my personal opinion on it. I'm sorry if I'm ranting so much on it, but it's truly how I feel about pineapple and pizza. Like, it's just something that, you know, people should accept. It's not like they could just go forever without going like, oh, this is gross. We don't ever want it. Because sure, it's understandable that you will never want to try because you don't like it. That's fine. You don't have to love everything that exists. But the thing is, it's not like you can say that it's disgusting because other people will enjoy it. And I'm a firm believer of you can love whatever, like anything that you love, as long as you find it reasonable and respectful and you love it within your own self-reasoning, then that's completely fine. As long as you don't force it upon other people, then that's fine. In fact, I think it's more annoying how pineapple and pizza haters are always just talking about how it's gross and disgusting and just like, I swear, you never see pineapple and pizza lovers just go like, oh, come on, you got to try it. You got to try it. It's so good. So delicious. But you always see people just go like, oh, you know, who hate pineapple and pizza going like, why would anyone want that? That's so disgusting. It's so gross. Because the thing is, that just makes them even more annoying. And that makes me even like pineapple and pizza even more because it's just despite them and it makes me more triggered. Like, have you seen, I swear. Like, uh, pineapple, people who hate pineapple and pizza are the equivalent of Karens in our life. Or, 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 or like, toxic veganism. And I know this is definitely going to be a hot take, but, like, you can live and you can be a vegan, vegetarian, all that stuff, and just be completely fine with it. I have no disrespect for any sort of vegan. I even know people who are vegan and vegetarian, which I have no bothering with that any at all. Like, I don't judge them at all for that. That's their decision, and I heavily respect it. In fact, I love them for going through that. The thing I don't like is when people try and force that same belief on to you but <laughs> it just makes him sound more annoying but hey who wants to see me run this trial just so i can uh, get pineapple and pizza points <laughs> let's go ahead and give this a run and i personally believe honestly by the way uh i think how this is going to work is that since the event is going to last for uh, i think it said like five four days uh i'm pretty sure it's going to have six different types of events with six different debates so there's going to be three debates in this update where you know it has a uh, language chat and there's going to be three more debates in the next update, or it's only going to be three, but I would like it if they kept on bringing them back because I think the debates are actually fun because 
it kind of adds a new aspect to my videos where you get to hear my absolute like outburst of an opinion because you just saw me go on the pizza on pineapple well, well not pizza on pineapple and that's in fact you know I, I think I've only seen one picture of that done before but you know what that's creativity at its finest but you know what I was I'll, I'll mention this already do what you love and we never have to judge anyone for what they love because it's what they love so why would you judge someone upon what they love but as I was mentioning, yeah, I just went in the whole like rant, but I'm definitely going to love doing more of these videos in the future with more kicky debates because not only will it be more content for you to enjoy, but you get to see me go on full outbursts. You know, I already run on outbursts on like toxic veganism and also uh, people who hate pineapple and pizza. And that's just mainly because they're annoying. Like if you were just like, yeah, I don't really like pineapple and pizza, then I can kind of understand it. You know, I only say kind of because maybe I can just implore it to like, you know, why? But like, that'd be it. That's all I ask. I'm not going to try and force it to go like, oh, come on, don't knock it till you try. And they probably did try it and they probably hated it. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just me ranting on the pineapple and pizza stuff because, man, I didn't know cookie debate would get me. So it's so weird because like, this is like the fun angry because I'm not even angry, actually. Like, I'm just more like, you know, just <laughs> trying to go into full rant mode and trying to defend my honor for something that I believe in. But personally... I always assumed that, like, pineapple and pizza actually gave it a nice kick of sweetness. Which, people can understand, like, you don't want sweet on pizza. I think the thing you want is savory. I want that ingredient bag. Which is the same color of pineapple, by the way. Pineapples are basically the golden fruit, the golden goose. Shoot, I messed that up. Don't call that a pineapple and pizza move. <laughs> anyway, but, like, I thought pineapple and pizza gave it, like, a genuine sweetness. And to be honest, while I don't order it all the time, I think it's something nice to have for, like, the, you know... A nice summer pizza, you know, pineapple and ham. Like, literally, let me, let, riddle me this. If pineapple and pizza is that bad, then how come there's already, like, a, there's a big majority of special pe like, what is it, special pizza? Special tea pizza, named after it being the uh, Hawaiian special words, always pineapple and ham. Like, do they not like the mixture of pineapple and ham, too? Do they not like ham on pizza? It is a meat. Maybe I'm getting off topic on that one. Maybe I'm kind of pulling the truth a little bit here, but you know what I mean. I'm going to stand by this under till the day I die. Hey, so uh, I thought this event was going to have an ending, but I don't think it did because uh, the, you, you know, the cookie debate event, the pineapple and pizza thing. I'm pretty sure that the next one just started and it has to do with the uh, All I See's Pirate Cookie versus Ginseng Cookie. I don't know which one that means. Uh, health always comes first. Okay, it's always uh, health or something. So uh, I think the event ended. The only thing is I thought there was going to be like some uh, bonus round. We're like, and by bonus on, I mean, I thought there was going to be some sort of an ending to it where it was like, oh, well, closing remarks, uh, the majority of the people voted uh, and like the people who didn't get as many votes would get angry and the people who had higher votes would like, you know, kind of show off, which unfortunately does, doesn't seem like the case. I think they posted something on Twitter about that. However, I guess I kind of have to end the episode here because like I had content recorded for this, but the thing is, I don't want to just like end the video with like no, like like no ending like that would make no sense imagine if i record it without an outro but i guess uh, what i could do is just like slip this into the end and say you know thank you all for watching uh i definitely need to like it they never done this event before so i don't know how it's gonna end so basically what i need to do is just put in this thing into the ending tell you all that the video is over and uh yeah so uh it, it, this this uh, look, these videos are kind of fun though only just because like you know it gives me a chance to really get heated about like some sort of a debate and give my personal opinion about it because we can probably make that a section of the video. But I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and do my outro because there's really not much for us to do because the event is really complete. All that really happens is that you just play through game modes, you get points, and then you try and earn points for your whole team. And it's probably going to be the same exact event for the new debate that's going on, which I also need to make a video on. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my cook run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merch if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out. It's called the Hype Me Sub. It's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand it every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's another link which leads down to X, aka Twitter, where there's a link down there. Or I like there's a post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the uh, Cooker and YouTube set for absolutely free. Uh, but above all else, I'll see you under these guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Nice.